Hey guys, it's Olavids, and this week has been pretty crazy with all the Square Enix news that's been coming out. So I figured I'd compile them all into one news video in case you haven't heard any of these. If you do end up learning something new from this, be sure to drop a like and a sub because I've been doing these Square Enix news videos a bit more recently. Now the first one I'm pretty sure you all heard about, but in case you didn't, Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series has been announced as the final character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you somehow don't know what Smash is, it's basically a Nintendo game that's a giant crossover platform fighter that can feature various Nintendo characters like Mario and Samus, as well as other third party characters like Solid Snake and, well, now Sora. Anyway, Sora will have the main framework of his Kingdom Hearts 1 version, but he has other costumes that reference his other appearances in the rest of the series. Unlike Cloud and Sephiroth, he has his English voice, but from what I heard, it sounds like they're using the Dream Drop Distance voice clips. Now, while I would have preferred if they changed the voice clips depending on the costume you're wearing, I suppose it does make sense that they're using the Dream Drop voice since we've seen it being applied to both an older and a younger Sora. It's also not too far from his Kingdom Hearts 3 voice, so it can kind of fit all of them. By the way, if you'd like to see him have his accurate voice for each costume, I did an edit that shows what it would look like. You could also see my reaction to majority of the presentation here, and you know that goes more in depth on his move set as well as all the other details. And I'll end off this part by saying that he comes out on October 18th, which is apparently 13 days away from his announcement trailer. Okay, this is definitely not a coincidence. The next one is something that happened around when Neo The Worlds With You came out on the Epic Game Store. So the mangaka behind the Kingdom Hearts manga named Shiro Amano made a one-shot manga for Neo Toby to celebrate its PC release. However, at the time, it was all in Japanese, but recently fans were able to translate it so that everyone else could get an idea of what's going on. And in case you were wondering, it doesn't spoil anything from the main plot because it's an original story that definitely did not happen in the game, so you can read it even if you didn't play it. It's more of a gag manga, so it features things like a Reaper's Game cooking contest, as well as the Wicked Twisters running into a certain person that they did not want to see in the bathhouse. Amano also drew some art that features Sora and Rindo together, but it was quickly deleted from his Twitter for whatever reason, but I'm sure you could find it with a quick Google search though. I'll leave a link to the manga in the description, so be sure to check in there. The next one is a shame, honestly, but the composer of the Dragon Quest series, Koichi Sugiyama, has passed away at the age of 90 years old. I'm not going to get into any of the controversy or anything, just stick into his Dragon Quest legacy, but ever since 1986, on the first Dragon Quest, he's been the composer of the many iconic songs from the series. I always liked the music from these games. They have a sort of whimsical and symphonic feel to them, and I think that really enhances the experience, especially in Dragon Quest XI. Who knows if he composed anything for Dragon Quest XII, but I'm sure that his iconic overture theme will be present. Okay, the last few I've got today is mainly Kingdom Hearts centric, but the director of Kingdom Hearts, Tetsuya Nomura's birthday was on October 8th. He's currently 51 years old, so he got to have a good time on his birthday because he's working on a ton of things at the moment, including Kingdom Hearts' 20th anniversary. So to start off the anniversary, a couple of things involving the Kingdom Hearts series got announced. First of all, the whole Kingdom Hearts series is coming over to Nintendo Switch. Granted, it's only by Cloud, but at least it's finally there in some way. I do hope that they'll make actual ports eventually though. Also, while the final update for Kingdom Hearts Dark World was delayed, we got a new release window, which is this winter. We also got a little teaser showing that we're going to be going over to Enchanted Dominion and Beast Castle. We're also going to be seeing some new Keyblade wielders. So far, we don't know if they're the missing upperclassmen or just some other Keyblade wielders that live in Scala. But either way, it's pretty exciting because like I said in my Dark World reviews, I found it weird how Xehanort's class and Master Odin were the only people we've seen from there. And lastly, some new figures featuring Sora and Kairi on the chair are being released, along with some other things like the chessboard from Kingdom Hearts 3 and the suitcase from Kingdom Hearts 0.2. Though I hear they can be pretty pricey, so make sure you spend wisely. And that's it for today's video. If you guys learned something new or heard of something that you didn't hear of before, definitely leave a subscribe and a like. And check out the other stuff on my channel. I do a lot of cool videos, uh, mostly Square Enix centric, but you see other things here and there every once in a while. But um, yeah, lots of good and bad news this week, but you know, it is what it is, it happens, and uh, some of the stuff is unfortunate, some of the stuff is really awesome, but um, yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.